All right. Step number five to making relationships work is what I like to call conflict hearers versus conflict fighters. All right. Conflict fighters are people that argue to win. You know, the whole time, you know, the type, the whole time you're talking to them, they're trying to figure out what to say to debunk what you said or make you come out to be a liar or just to argue about random. No, you didn't say that because you didn't. If you said that, I would have responded. I know it wasn't 730 when you said that. It was 745 because I had just gotten off of work. So you're just lying. So that's a conflict fighters. That's why you fight to, to the death, thinking that you can win when really all you're doing is killing your relationship. Instead, when you have natural conflicts and arguments, which are part of every relationship, even the masters have them, even relationship masters have these in their relationships. But here's something they do very different from what most people do, uh, well, at least people are, that are in disastrous relationships do. When they're in conflict, the, the person that's listening really tries to understand what the partner is saying, what they're in, upset about, what the conflict is about. So, for instance, so what I hear you saying is that you don't like the fact that I give you advice. And you, and you want me to stop being a know-it-all or you want me to stop advising you and just support you, okay, I can do that. So it's a mindset change. So when your partner's talking to you, you're not trying to battle back or say, you know, you're wrong or you're a liar. You're simply trying to understand why are they upset. Let me get why they're upset because I can make adjustments. And if I do that for you, you do that for me. So if I come home and say, baby, you know, I'm really frustrated. I come in the house, there's no food, and the house is dirty. And that's not the case, by the way. I'm going to put that out there in the atmosphere, okay? But if you understand this is not an attack on you, you say, baby, well, you know, what's this all about? You know, I say, you know, what? I had a rough day at work. Man, I was so looking forward to just coming home and eating and the peace and quiet and tranquility of the home because I had a rough day and when it didn't happen I just I'm sorry I just went off I'm sorry this is really not about you this is about my rough day see when you do that you can make it through conflict a lot easier now I'm not gonna say it's ever gonna be rosy okay but if you focus your mind on hearing the conflict just getting it let me get what you're upset about and you get what I'm upset about because more than we want to be loved we want our partners to get us so if you understand that I like food when I come home, I like a clean house, then you're much more likely to do it if you know that it's going to make me you know, want to do the dishes, I want to give you some time with the kids, I want to you know, um, take over some of the household duties so that you can go exercise since you got home before me and preparing the meal. We can do that. All right, That's called conflict hearers. The goal is not to battle to win, it's to make sure that you get through the conflict so that you can remain friends and lovers. So that way, after every argument, maybe you can make love. That's what I'm talking about. Make love, not war. Conflict hearers, not fighters.